Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. I am not going to give you any medical advice or make any claims today, guys. Everything today is just my opinion. And with that being said, I'm going to show you guys some interesting information. I had to take a deep dive into figuring out how to measure hydrogen gas properly. Why? Well, because I've always done a lot of research to get the correct information about hydrogen and that's been very tricky. And one of the things I realized is that, in my opinion, pretty much everybody's doing it wrong in America. Um, almost everywhere in the world, actually. And it literally had to lead me to Japan to find out how they do it correctly because, as many people know, the Japanese are very, very detail-oriented. Um, so basically, without further ado, I'm, I'm just going to show you what I found out upon doing a lot of my research. One of the first things I found out is that the way that this particular company went about measuring the hydrogen gas, apparently they used a device called, and by the way, excuse my video because I don't know how to edit videos and so I'm just pointing the phone at the computer screen. And they used a chromatography device, which is really appears to be the correct way to measure the hydrogen gas. They did not calculate it by the amount of electricity because that is the incorrect way to do it. You Because you really want to make sure to actually measure it, not just guess based on electrical output. The other thing they that they definitely did not do is use the wrong type of equipment. So they first used chromatography and then they used this particular piece of equipment, which I'm going to show you here in a second, to validate and verify that this was working correctly. And apparently it was. It was actually incredibly accurate. And so now I'm going to show you what's going on. These are actually two different types of hydrofixes. This is a normal hydrofix from Japan. This is actually made for the Japanese market and apparently the internals are different and they had to make it differently for the premium edition. I would say that the premium edition from what I've heard is more like the medical grade edition or the medical edition uh, because in Japan, my understanding is that some of the medical offices want to use this one rather than the more inexpensive one because they want the best. Now, with that being said, let me just show you so you can actually see what they're gonna be doing here because what it really shows is, well, not only that the equipment that they're using is accurate, and when they used the chromatography device, it was validated by that too. So it's going to be the color that gives you an idea, roughly the amount of hydrogen gas that it's making, but not that the machine is generating. One of the smart things that I didn't realize, and obviously the Japanese did, is that you want to measure right from the tip of the nose where you're actually going to be inhaling the hydrogen, not what the machine is producing, none of that. Make sure that you measure from where you're actually going to be inhaling from. And my understanding, you don't really notice very closely, but they actually plugged this little hose up. They took the sample and it has to be done within a certain amount of time. Everything is very, very specific. And so you can see the color, which comes out to, and it's a 2% concentration, and it came out to 120 milliliters per minute. Now, this one, I remember the non-premium edition, which actually still gave me, you know, really good results. It's not as good, but for me, it worked great when I got my very first one. And you can see they're going to measure, do the exact same test. And that was the one that was originally tested with the chromatography. They take a certain amount of air. And you're going to see, I remember it being something like, I think it was 26 milliliters per minute, but let's just see what it shows. And once calculated, let's see, whoops, what did it say? In conclusion, it was proven that at least 100, and it actually may be putting out more, but at least 120 milliliters of hydrogen gas per minute was generated from the tip of the nose. So again, this is actually from the tip of the nose. And let's see what else they say here. And we don't see anybody in America doing these. These are actually made in Japan. Here we go. In conclusion, it was proven that at least 30 milliliters per minute. And I remember when they did the chromatography, it was apparently right around that number from what they were informing me of. And this was when they were first engineering this device in Japan. They had done all these studies before it was ever released when I contacted them and asked them a bunch of questions. 30 milliliters of hydrogen gas per minute was generated from the tip of the nose of the Lourdes Hydrofix non-premium edition, and which is the current Japanese model. So you can really see the clearly the color difference and seeing that this method is accurate. And like I said, I mean, I hate to say it, but in my opinion, anybody doing like the bubble test or the blue drops, I mean, these are all the incorrect ways of doing it. So what it really shows you is a lack of knowledge. 
by doing it incorrectly. And, and that's too bad because I think America will eventually catch up. That's what I think will happen. But uh, this test measures percentage of hydrogen in a 100 milliliter sample. So they take, it sounds to me like 100 milliliters of air per second. That's why they were timing it. So in this case, 0.5% equals 0.5 milliliters per second. Multiply the 0.5 milliliters per second by 60 seconds, one minute. The result, 30 milliliters per minute. So my understanding from doing the research on this device that they're using here is like 99 point something percent accurate. So it's really, really close, quote unquote, to the chromatography. And the other thing, let's talk about how to measure hydrogen water correctly too. Basically the hydrogen content within the water because it's another misconception. People are using the blue drops and th definitely the wrong equipment. This is the right equipment. They have a premium edition here. And you guys can literally see, I think you've seen some of those videos before. Let's see here that I've done where they show this particular piece of equipment. And they're going to put the water in. It looks like the machine was just done making hydrogen water. So it, it's nice to see how it's done correctly because it really sheds light on the incorrect ways to measure hydrogen. And my understanding is that all this equipment is made in Japan. I mean, the electronics, you know, well, for most people don't understand, the Japanese are like number one in the world when it comes to electronics. And here you got something moving around in here to disperse and make it nice and even to get an accurate reading. Right there, it's 1.2 ppm parts per million. Now remember, they took that water from an entire pitcher. So the whole pitcher, you know, not just measuring, they're, they're taking a sample but from this whole body of water rather than trying to make hydrogen in just a small amount of waters. So this is gonna give a reading on the whole picture. It really matters, guys, the volume of water that you're measuring. You could take a, it's hard to explain, but it's important to take, you know, obviously an accurate sample so you can get an idea of the whole thing. Now, this one is at 1.5 ppm is what you're seeing right here. And full saturation is basically, <laughs> you can see my finger there. Um, full saturation is 1.6. Let's see here. They're trying to get that thing apparently to disperse all the hydrogen evenly. And there you go. 1.6. So full saturation. That is the correct way to do it. I've seen the blue drops be quite inaccurate. And so again, I just wanted to show the, the correct method. So that way people would have an idea of what it would really look like because People are constantly always asking about it, and there is apparently a lot of misinformation out there. Uh, just incorrect. I don't know if misinformation. I just say incorrect. I think people just don't understand how to do hydrogen properly. They clearly don't have the, the correct equipment because this type of equipment needs a lot of maintenance, apparently, and calibration constantly. So it, it's not something that you could really get in the U.S. because my understanding is that the equipment would need to be maintained in Japan where it's made and just constantly requires maintenance. That's why I don't think we see it here in the US. So I hope that that answers a lot of people's questions. Don't forget to share, subscribe, you know, give the video a thumbs up and you know, for being able to see again how to do it all accurately and correctly. So comment below too guys. Well, not only does it help the algorithm, but comment below and let me know if this was helpful to you to understand the proper process to measuring the hydrogen gas and also measuring the hydrogen water. And like I said, I don't see any other equipment out there that has been measured properly or correctly. People just kind of make certain guesstimates. And I've seen a lot of equipment be tested. And so far, I haven't seen any of them actually be accurate as far as the amount of hydrogen that they're claiming that is being produced as far as a lot of these devices, you know, from China and, you know, Taiwan and even Korea. But those, a lot of the, that equipment is pretty much using the same stuff, which is internals from China. But okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Till next time.